Matt Gox Tools. I'm Tom. So what we're doing today is uh, we're going to make some miniature copies of this uh, machine handle here for this itty bitty cute as heck little cast iron surface plate that the unknown apprentice sent me. Uh, thanks very much for that. And um, I guess these castings are available on eBay and you can buy them for a few bucks. Um, so I made some little handles that go in here and some little bushings and uh, I'll eventually I'll scrape the top of that and, uh, and put it on the shelf. <laughs> anyway, this is a great application of a, uh, of a form tool. Uh, this one's high speed steel and it was ground to, uh, uh, to produce the form for these little handles here. So uh, let's take a closer look at this and then uh, we'll go make one. There's the profile that we're cutting there. And all I did was kind of uh, just literally sketch on the top of the tool um, with, a, with a Sharpie like that. Oops, well, I think you get the idea. Anyway, uh, until I was happy with the shape of it, and then I uh, went over to the bench grinder and, uh, and ground that form there. And you can see that, uh, that it matches it, which it should, right? And, you know, you can produce multiples pretty quickly. And anyway, so this is a great way to produce a, a small form like this. Kind of the limitations are the width of cut. Uh, the wider you get, the more chance for chatter and, uh, and that kind of stuff. So uh, um, you have to kind of experiment with it. But, uh, um, and you can see there the relief in the tool. That's just from the natural curvature of the, uh, the bench grinder wheel. So I have my tables for the bench, bench grinder set on the center line of the, uh, of the uh, rotation. And then, so this is above center line. So you end up with a natural, uh, a natural clearance uh, uh, underneath the cutting edge. So anyway, that's kind of how that works. So let's go, uh, let's go spin one of these out and uh, see what happens.